Hello again everyone, Edwin Laird back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the August 21st, 2017 total solar eclipse. Now, a total solar eclipse occurs when the moon conceals the photosphere and blocks off the sun uh, from the viewer. Being total, this is going to be a very powerful solar eclipse. Uh, this one uh, will be at 28 degrees, 53 minutes of arc uh, Leo and nearly which of course is nearly 29 degrees which represents the at least to me and some other and other astrologers some other ones uh, may see it this way as well uh the full culmination of the sign of this leo energy and this could give i mean a solar eclipse could give very powerful initiative and enterprise and of course pursued with that leo ferocity it could represent a major a dramatic change it could be a time to obliterate what was uh, prohibiting you from making any kind of progress or headway this could be a time where you feel very prodigious revitalizing and rejuvenating energy this could be a major life uh, change uh, the thing is uh, you look and see what house that this falls in and that's the house that could be very strongly impacted mine is going to fall in my fifth house it's going to be very close to my fifth house cusp interestingly enough it's also going to conjunct my arabic part of marriage now i don't see myself getting uh, married anytime on, on that day or shortly afterwards i mean this is going to be very shortly around the corner this total solar eclipse in leo but it might illuminate and strongly and shine some strong light maybe it's the reasons i'm not keep in mind the arabic part of marriage is really i mean i says more about it's the style of that marriage that you may have and being in leo it could be very grand and one that might require certain extravagance maybe it's going to point to that to me and tell me well as to why part of the reason i'm not married maybe it has something to do with spending a lot of money uh, that might be pertaining to that marriage so the thing too is when you have a solar eclipse this could also be a very strong uh, unveiling it could be a, a revelation at this time it's like you have the, the rays of the Sun being blocked for some time in terms of this uh, this total solar eclipse and then you have and, and then at some point you they won't be blocked so it's kind of like something that it's almost symbolic and reflective of something that's hidden out of view for some point and then it's revealed so it could be a thing for a lot of people where they might experience some very strong revelation and in leo of course could be very dramatic and, and in, a, in a way that comes out very strong and very powerful and solar eclipses could reflect major turning points in life and I think what's interesting too, when you look at a solar eclipse, uh, some people may not look at it this way, but what, what happens is you have something major could happen and it could even be something that it might be serendipitous. It could be something that might cause some havoc or, or some issues initially, but could lead to making some strong progress or something auspicious in your life. Now, let's say, for example, you have the solar eclipse in Leo let's say it hits your 11th house of that social networking and friends now let's say for I mean Leo energy could be very uh, be very proud very gregarious extroverted and also have, show courage and, and really a, a lot of fortitude and th this could be let's say I mean you have it then in the 11th house of social networking and let's say for example you you go on to Facebook or some social media site and somebody's bashing you and saying all these derisive and derogatory things about you and let's say you go on there and respond to it let's say a person that's a friend of that person that put that negative stuff on there let's say they may stick up for you or they they appreciate what you did and stand up for that person you might make a connection for life possibly from that so solar eclipses could I think could be a little bit tricky they could start out being something uh, where, where it causes some kind of turmoil but it could actually lead ultimately to something positive and auspicious in your life now the thing is with me I mean I'm going to have this in my fifth house as I stated before 
with this one being in my fifth, it could show very strong uh, gregariousness and extroversions in mat extroversion in matters of the heart. It could be coming out of my sun and cancer shell, that which of course is very introverted and and really very uh, and really much uh, enamored with the home, and and really show some very strong extroverted energy and making maybe a change to be more outgoing to find that elusive love. I mean, I've seen that as a possibility. And the thing is, people ask, well, what is the, the difference between, say, the, the solar eclipse than, than even uh, than the new moon? I mean, the new moon, in terms of its astrological impact, well, of course, the solar eclipse could be more powerful. Uh, if I was having, say, the, you were, I was having the new moon in Leo, and it wasn't a solar eclipse, and it was in my fifth house, that could just mean that maybe I might get more outgoing with this one particular woman, say, that I was interested in, and maybe decide to ask her out. But where you have, when you have the solar eclipse, it's more of a significant life change you might make. And in other words, in this case, I might be changing my demeanor to some degree, to, to get really, which could open up a world of opportunities more in terms of a perspective, a love or a romantic a partners in, in partner in, in really finding that love of my life. So it's really more of a ter or more of a very, it could represent very uh, big major transformations and changes, not just something where you're going to say like in the fifth house, oh, I'm just going to go out. Uh, I think I'll ask this one person out and, and, but you're not really necessarily making that major change in matters pertaining to that house. So that's based in, in the signs energy. So that's pretty much what I'm saying. Now, the thing about this too, is it's also important to look at the aspects that are made from this uh, solar eclipse in Leo, it, it, because those aspects could be intensified as well. I'm going to have this making a long square to my Taurus ascendant. So I have to be careful not to become overly overbearing with this energy if I'm trying to become more extrovert and gregarious because it's in conflict with my, my Taurus ascendant is more reticent, it's more passive, and Taurus ascendant is really is more introverted, more it's really more placid and calm energy. We have the, the Leo energy could really be rather bombastic, and when you have this square, it might actually bring out some negative characteristics of both these signs, and it could show some overbearing energy. And as long as if I'm trying to make this major change, for example, in matters of the heart, uh, then if that's if that's what was going to happen, then I, I have to be careful not to be overbearing in the process. Now, the thing too is um, another thing in, in my chart I thought was interesting is that I'm going to have transit Jupiter in Libra, making a, a fairly close in conjunct to my ascendant Jupiter in Libra in the the sixth house. So this could be something where I might be trying to very, I have to be careful about perhaps overexertion or working too laboriously during this time, because of course, inconjuncts are about uh, adjustments and being Jupiter will be in the fifth house. Of course, this could be a health adjustment and I have to be, and maybe it might be something where I strongly emphasize more of a balanced diet, a balanced Libra diet. Jupiter energy could be very exuberant, but it could also be something that enlarges and in, in something where it emphasizes something. So there might be a lot of emphasis on some health related matter at this time uh, for me. And I have to be careful of some strong overexertion, and especially not just because of that aspect, but because of all this Leo energy that's going uh, to take place. And, you know, you're going to have Mars in Leo and the, and the Sun in Leo and uh, the North Node being in Leo. So you're going to have all in the moon in Leo, of course, you're going to have an exorbitant amount of Leo energy. Now, another thing too to look at is that this Leo uh, energy, I mean, this is going to be at the 28th degree of Leo, nearly 29 degrees, the full, which of course, at least to me, the full culmination of the sign. Some other astrologers will agree, some may not agree. But anyway, the 28th degree in Sabian uh, symbols could uh, show much valor, fortitude, and self-reliance. And it could also give one much integrity and, and benevolence and show kindness even after possible success 
connected with whatever uh, they do uh, with, with this energy. So I think that's a very good and positive uh, degree. Now, the thing a lot of people are talking about, of course, is this solar eclipse and how it may impact uh, the U.S. President Donald Trump. Well, the thing about it is to many, uh, to the dismay of many, I'm actually going to, being kind of facetious, go out on a limb here. I'm going to say he's not going to be assassinated on this day. I understand he's got, it's going to hit his uh, 12th house. 12th house is a house of, of endings. It's also going to hit his, his Mars, very close to his Mars position in the 12th house. And Mars, of course, rules gunfire. I think he's actually going to be okay and get out of this, at least relatively unscathed. He's going to have the... Um, He's going to have this in, uh, it's in his 12th house. And uh, the thing is in his solar return chart, some of you may have seen that, the one I did from for the 2017-2018 solar return, that he is going to have that, uh, he has Jupiter conjunct the ascendant in that. And I think that benevolent planet on his ascendant in the solar return chart can help him immensely. So I, as far as the people out there that are speculating, all speculation conjecture, conjecture about him being assassinated, his demise coming, I will go out and say he will be alive. He will come out of this unscathed, I do believe, very strongly. However, I think he might go through some problems and tribulation during this time because, of course, other transiting aspects to your chart will be intensified very strongly during the solar eclipse and considering it's a total solar eclipse, perhaps even more powerful. He's going to have transit Saturn and transit Black Moon Lilith making very strong conjunction to his uh to his moon natal moon in sagittarius the saturn conjunct the moon could uh cause him could could really put a clamp on that exuberance and expanse of uh, sagittarius uh moon uh, emotions and feelings during this time he might be feeling rather disconsolate and despondent he might have uh, trouble expressing uh his emotions uh, during this period he might feel rather alone and desolate as well he will, uh, it could be a possible loss of women in a prominent in his life, perhaps, because the moon, of course, is over that. And it's also a thing where you have to look at the, now the transit black moon Lilith hitting his, um, hitting his moon. That could unveil something connected with the Sagittarius emotional need. It could be something over foreign dealings that maybe is strongly unveiled that people may have speculated on, but might come out into the open, be somewhat of a revelation during this time. And keep in mind, too, that there's other people to consider as far as this Leo, um, the conjunction, making somebody having a Leo prominent in the sun, moon, or ascendant where the solar eclipse can impact strongly. Now, many of you may have remembered actor Todd Bridges. He has an ascendant position. I believe it's 29 degrees, 57 minutes of arc in Leo, very close to Donald Trump's uh, ascendant. So that is one person to look at during this eclipse. And another person, I believe Drake has a late Leo degree. I think he has 29 degrees Leo. You might want to check that to make sure but I know it's very, it's pretty late in, in Leo and he, um, and you're going to, I mean, those people are, are two people to look at during this time because of course the ascendant is the physical body. Leo governs the heart. So it's something just to be careful of. And sometimes Leo's don't are, you know, they, they often exhibit a nearly inexorable or, or indefatigable energy. So these two people have to be careful, I think, not to overexert themselves, especially in, in Donald Trump as well, of course, having that 29 degree Leo ascendant. So anyway, people, that'll put a wrap on uh, my take on the August 21st, 2017 total solar eclipse. And stay tuned next time where I'll be continuing my, uh, my, my series that I'm currently uh, doing right now on zodiac signs and soulmates. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological 
element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well